This is just a spoiler, therefore, the picture will not be the same as the storyline. Thank you for your visit, enjoy listening to the radio. Chapter 315 Wu Dong Qian Kun A blurry figure rushed out from the top of the mysterious Black Yin Mountain in a lightning-like manner. A faint air exploding sound formed around the figure's body, finally, it rumbled and spread out in this quiet night. When this sonic boom sounded out, the atmosphere inside and outside of the deathly silent ghastly puppet city instantly exploded at a terrifying speed. Horrified screams sounded out in the night, which were exceptionally ear-piercing. Heavens, that fellow stole the treasure? How is this possible? How is this possible? Even the nine great manifestation stage practitioners are helpless against the seal on that treasure. How could that fellow possibly snatch it away? Quote. Crazy. This is going to be crazy. In the silent night, countless screams were like the fuse that ignited a volcano, instantly causing countless people's eyes to turn blood red. If the treasure had remained in the hands of the ghastly puppet cult, under their intimidation, perhaps no one would dare to covet it. However, the treasure had suddenly been snatched. In this way, as long as they killed the treasure snatcher, wouldn't they have a chance to obtain the treasure? That fellow stole the treasure, on the mysterious Black Yin Mountain Peak, the left and right elders opened their mouths as they stared at the fleeing figure. For a time, they were unable to regain their senses. All ghastly puppet cult practitioners listen up, stop that fellow at all costs. This idiotic state did not last for long. In the next instant, the left and right elders' horrified and mournful roars suddenly exploded in the sky like a clap of thunder. As the mournful screams faded, the left and right elders hastily turned to look at Tang Sha, only to see the latter's body continuously trembling, while a devouring rage manically bubbled in his eyes. Tonight, he had already been forced to a stomach full of anger. He never expected that the treasure would actually be stolen from right under his nose. This was undoubtedly like two vicious slaps to his face. The current Tang Sha was clearly at the critical point of his rage. Sect leader, that fellow is a little strange. The strange symbol that appeared in his hand earlier seems to be able to ignore the seal on it. If we can obtain it, we will definitely be able to break the seal. Although he knew that Tang Sha was like a bomb that would explode at the slightest touch, Elder Zuo was obviously a cunning person. Yeah, we can't let this guy escape. When he heard the left and right elders' words, the raging flames in Tang Sha's eyes suddenly turned sluggish. Soon after, a wild joy abruptly gushed onto his face. His gaze was incomparably dark as he stared at the blurry figure that was swiftly fleeing, as he sinisterly laughed. Don't worry, he won't be able to escape. Bang! Just as Tang Sha's laughter faded, before the left and right elders could speak again, his body suddenly exploded with a bang. A blurry afterimage appeared in his original spot, while his actual body disappeared like a ghost. Catch that guy! When Tang Sha's body disappeared, the ghastly puppet cult practitioners covered the sky and covered the earth as they dashed forth. After all, this was the ghastly puppet cult's old lair, and most of the elite practitioners here were rather capable. Figure after figure swept forth from all directions, just like a spider web, as they surrounded Lin Dong's figure. Lin Dong's speed seemed to have reached the limit. However, there were simply too many ghastly puppet cult practitioners, and they were densely packed from all directions. In a short few seconds, four Qi creation stage practitioners took the lead and dashed forth. As they opened their large hands, vigorous Yuan power and martial arts were activated as they viciously attacked. Get lost! Lin Dong's eyes were ice cold. His large hand gripped as a golden platform formed, before it mercilessly exploded forth, directly blowing away the four Qi creation stage practitioners as they vomited blood. That guy is Lin Dong. Just as Lin Dong's golden platform was about to blow away the four Qi creation stage practitioners, a familiar shout suddenly sounded out from behind. Lin Dong's eyes instantly turned serious. He could tell that it was Cao Zhen, who he had fought with in Great Puppet City. The latter must have recognized his subduing golden platform magic palm. Lin Dong? The Lin Dong who kidnapped Tang Lei? Doesn't he know that he is wanted by the ghastly puppet cult? He actually dares to come to Ghastly Puppet City to steal treasures? That guy's guts are truly terrifying. Cao Zhen's shout undoubtedly caused the already heated Ghastly Puppet City to become even more enraged. 
Countless gazes stared in shock at the fleeing black figure. Evidently, they did not expect that the person who stole the treasures would actually be Lin Dong, who had a grudge with the ghastly puppet cult. Bang bang bang. Lin Dong's figure violently swept forth, the golden platform in his hand dancing wildly, causing several ghastly puppet cult practitioners to vomit blood as they retreated. Just as he was about to charge out of the airspace above ghastly puppet city, an extremely formidable force suddenly exploded forth from behind. Lin Dong, Dai, accompanying that formidable gale was Cao Zhen's furious roar. Back then, Lin Dong had kidnapped Tang Lei right in front of him, causing him to receive quite a bit of scolding. Now that they met again, no matter what, he had to get back at Lin Dong. Scram! When he saw this fellow stubbornly pestering him, Lin Dong's eyes were as cold as ice. He forcefully turned around, a purplish-black glow suddenly gushed forth in his eyes, before he punched out. This time, it was not golden yuan power that gushed out from Lin Dong's body. Instead, it was a strange purplish-black energy. This energy swiftly gathered and directly transformed into a fist shadow that viciously collided against Cao Zhen. You're courting death. When he saw that Lin Dong actually dared to meet him head-on, Cao Zhen sneered. However, before the sneer on his face could fade, it abruptly froze in the next instant. That was because he realized that the purplish black fist had actually directly destroyed his martial arts attack with an unstoppable speed. Furthermore, it did not lose any momentum as it viciously slammed against his body. Plop. The Yuan power defense on Cao Zhen's body crumbled in an instant. In fact, even the middle-grade soul treasure inner armor that Cao Zhen wore was directly blasted apart. His entire body drew a parabola in the sky, leaving behind clouds of bloody mist as he miserably landed on the ground below. One punch had blown away a half-step to manifestation practitioner. This terrifying scene instantly caused the bodies of the ghastly puppet cult practitioners that were pouncing towards Lin Dong to freeze, as endless fear filled their eyes. How is this possible? How can Lin Dong beat the half-step to manifestation Cao Zhen to such a state with one punch? Could it be that he has already broken through to manifestation stage? But why is his aura still at qi creation stage? Quote. This scene was similarly detected by the numerous practitioners that were paying attention to this place. Immediately, gasps of shock erupted outside ghastly puppet city, while some people even felt a little dizzy. The various events that had happened tonight were truly too bizarre. Run. While countless people were in a daze due to Lin Dong's ferocious might, Lin Dong instantly withdrew his fist and once again dashed forth. He naturally understood that the reason why he was able to possess such power was because of Little Martin's secret assistance. Else, he would definitely be delayed by Cao Zhen. At that time, once the ghastly puppet cult practitioner surrounded him, it would be practically impossible for him to escape today. Using his speed to the limit, Lin Dong's figure flashed as he finally dashed out of ghastly puppet city's boundary. A whistle swiftly sounded out. Based on his speed, he would definitely be unable to shake off the ghastly puppet cult practitioners, hence, he had to rely on Little Flame. Roar. Just as Lin Dong's whistle sounded out, a tiger's roar sounded out in the dark night. Soon after, a red flash swept across the horizon and directly appeared beside Lin Dong. Without the slightest hesitation, he flipped onto the tiger's back, while Little Flame swiftly unfurled its wings. Just as it was about to escape, Little Martin suddenly appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder as it shrieked, Be careful. Boom boom. Just as Little Martin's voice faded, the darkness in front of Lin Dong suddenly rippled. Soon after, a demonic godlike figure appeared like a phantom. It was Tang Sha. You are that Lin Dong? Hand over the treasure to this sect master. When Tang Sha appeared, his face was filled with a murderous aura as he stared at Lin Dong. His large hand suddenly grabbed out, as vigorous Yuan power immediately condensed into a giant Yuan power skeleton, before it whizzed towards Lin Dong. Quickly retreat. When it saw Tang Sha make his move, Lil Martin's expression turned exceedingly solemn as it hastily shouted out. Soon after, its claws danced as rich purplish black energy swiftly gushed out from its body, transforming into a manically spinning purplish black light disc. Then, it violently swept forth and heavily collided against that extremely formidable Yuan power skeleton. Bang! An astonishing energy shockwave erupted in the horizon, 
as the purplish-black light disc and the Yuan power skeleton were both destroyed. This scene once again drew countless shocked gazes. No one had expected that Lin Dong would actually be able to withstand an attack from the advanced manifestation stage Tang Sha. You must be dreaming if you want to take away the treasure in front of this sect leader. Hand it over. When his attack was blown away, Tang Sha's eyes slightly shrunk. Soon after, he let out a sinister smile. Then, he stepped forward as an even more terrifying aura suddenly erupted from his body. In fact, even the Yuan power between heaven and earth faintly showed signs of gathering. Tang Sha, if you dare to make another move, I will slaughter Tang Lei. As he stared at the demonic god like Tang Sha, who was filled with Yuan power, Lin Dong's eyes turned cold. His hand grabbed out and the figure that was tied to Little Flame's python tail was caught in his hand as he roared out. Countless gazes converged on him, only to see a figure struggling in Lin Dong's hand. From the looks of it, it was Tang Lei, who had been captured by Lin Dong. However, he was now being used as a hostage. This kid is truly vicious. As they stared at the purplish Tang Lei, whose neck was being grabbed by Lin Dong, and Tang Sha, whose face was gradually turning green, several people looked at each other, before they muttered in a low voice. However, with just this, it would be difficult for them to leave safely. Chapter 316 Wu Dong Qian Kun Tang Sha's figure also stopped at this moment. His expression was extremely grim as he stared at the figure whose throat was being grabbed by Lin Dong, while a maniacal killing intent flowed in his eyes. Kid, if you dare to harm even the slightest bit of Lei Er, I will make you regret ever being born into this world. Tang Sha sinisterly shouted. Get lost. Lin Dong's expression was ice cold. His palms suddenly exerted force, causing Tang Lei's face to instantly turn purple as he sternly shouted out. Swoosh swoosh. The instant Tang Sha blocked Lin Dong, the surrounding elite ghastly puppet cult practitioners also swiftly dashed over. However, due to Tang Lei and Lin Dong's grasp, no one dared to attack. Tang Sha's eyes were dark like a venomous wolf as he stared right at Lin Dong. However, his body did not retreat at all as he slowly said, Lin Dong, as long as you hand over the treasure and release Tang Lei, as the leader of the ghastly puppet cult, I guarantee that you will definitely be allowed to leave safely. Nonsense, Lin Dong sneered, did Tang Sha really think that he was a three-year-old kid? The grudge between him and the ghastly puppet cult was already irreconcilable. Furthermore, the symbol that he had displayed previously had definitely landed in the eyes of Tang Sha and the rest. Therefore, they would definitely not allow Lin Dong to leave with the symbol that could break the seal. When he heard these words, the chill in Tang Sha's eyes intensified. Tang Sha, do you really believe that I do not dare to kill him? Lin Dong's eyes surveyed his surroundings as a venomous killing intent similarly gushed up in his eyes as he shouted out. Alright, I will let you leave, as long as you don't hurt Lei Er. Tang Sha's eyebrows tightly furrowed as he suddenly said in a low voice. After he spoke, he waved his hand. When the surrounding elite ghastly puppet cult practitioners saw this, they carefully retreated. However, their gazes were still locked onto Lin Dong's body, ready to charge out at any moment. Lin Dong stared at Tang Sha as his eyes flickered. However, he did not have much time to think at this moment. His palm padded little flame as the latter flapped its wide blood wings and cautiously turned around. However, just as little flame turned around, a malevolent glint flashed across Tang Sha's eyes. With a grasp of his large hand, an exceptionally vigorous Yuan power lightning quick agglomerated into a black bone spear in his hand. Gusts of chilling wind blew on the bone spear, as if countless ghostly howls echoed out. Kai. When this bone spear was formed, Tang Sha's arm violently jerked as a black light swept forth. Containing an extremely terrifying force wind, it tore through the skies and lightning quick flew towards Lin Dong. Furthermore, the attack range even included Tang Lei. This fellow was actually so vicious and merciless. In order to keep the treasure, he could even disregard his son's life. Be careful. The speed of the black light was astonishingly fast. In a flash, it had appeared behind Lin Dong. Little Martin, who was perched on Lin Dong's shoulder, also sensed it and hastily shouted out. Wu. While he shouted, Little Martin spat out a mouthful of dense purplish-black energy, 
which rapidly gushed out and condensed into a purplish-black glowing shield behind Lin Dong. On the surface of the glowing shield, the energy rapidly rotated, as if it had formed a vortex. Boom! The instant the glowing shield was formed, the black bone spear that contained Tang Sha's ferocious attack instantly arrived and viciously smashed against the glowing shield. Immediately, a powerful energy shockwave swiftly spread out in mid-air. Crack! Even though the glowing shield's defense was not weak, Tang Sha was after all a genuine advanced manifestation stage practitioner. Even the current Lil Martin would find it extremely difficult to contend against him. Therefore, that glowing shield only lasted for a short while, before cracks began to spread on its surface, before it exploded with a loud bang. Jade Thunder Body, Demonic Ape Transformation, Quote. Thankfully, the glowing shield had bought Lin Dong some time. The Yuan power in his body was instantly activated, as a glass-like color swiftly spread on his skin, while his body also swelled. Faintly, the ancient dragon ape's giant shadow also appeared on the surface of Lin Dong's body, protecting him within. Buzz. The black light tore apart the glowing shield. The first to bear the brunt was not Lin Dong, but Tang Lei, who was in his hand. Like an extremely formidable force wind, the black light pierced through his body under Tang Lei's disbelieving gaze. Then, accompanied by a trail of blood, it flew towards Lin Dong's heart. Clang. That black bone spear viciously slammed against Lin Dong's chest, before a metallic sound echoed out. Lin Dong's clothes were torn apart by that force wind, and even that high-grade soul treasure inner armor on the ground had a fist-sized hole torn open. That bone spear was deeply embedded in Lin Dong's chest, as fresh blood flowed. Lin Dong's expression was ice cold, as his body jerked. Then, a wave of Yuan power immediately blew away that bone spear in his chest. Right now, a hideous wound had already appeared on his chest. Previously, Tang Lei's attack had nearly taken his life. Thankfully, he had activated Jade Thunder Body and Demonic Ape Transformation to strengthen his body, coupled with the Soul Treasure Inner Armor to absorb the damage. Else, this time, he would definitely be in grave danger. That Tang Sha is truly vicious, he actually did not let his son off. Even a vicious tiger does not eat its cubs, that fellow is actually this vicious. However, the attack this time was quite effective. If it was not for the fact that Lin Dong had many tricks up his sleeves, he would likely have been directly killed. Indeed, the older, the wiser. That Tang Sha is already this powerful, yet he still resorted to trickery. Inside and outside ghastly puppet city, whispers erupted one after another, while some gazes turned towards Tang Sha with a slightly strange expression. A person who even dared to kill his own son, who else would he not dare to kill? Roar. As if it sensed that Lin Dong was injured, Little Flame released an enraged tiger roar. Just as it was about to attack Tang Sha, Lin Dong hastily shouted, Little Flame, quickly flee. When it heard this, Lil Flame unwillingly released a low roar. It unfurled its wings, transforming into a blurry black shadow as it lightning quick dashed towards the deeper parts of the mysterious Black Yin mountain range. Catch him! When they saw that Lin Dong was about to flee, the well-prepared elite ghastly puppet cult practitioners instantly dashed forth. Even the left and right elders appeared in front of Lin Dong, Yuan power howling out as they immediately executed their martial arts in preparation to stop Lin Dong. However, just as they were about to make a move to stop Lin Dong, the latter's eyes flashed as he glanced at Tang Lei in his hand. Right now, that fellow was covered in blood and it was unknown whether he was dead or alive. Although Tang Sha's previous attack had nearly killed Lin Dong, it had also caused Tang Lei to be on the brink of death. Take it. Right now, Tang Lei had already lost his value, since even Tang Sha could be so vicious, he would only be a burden in his hands. Therefore, Lin Dong directly used him as a sandbag and flung him towards the left and right elders. When they saw the blood figure that Lin Dong had flung towards them, the left and right elders were stunned. They hesitated for a moment, but in the end, they did not allow him to fall to his death, and instead reached out to catch him. While they were catching Tang Lei, Lil Flame agilely transformed into a flash of lightning and avoided them. Then, he raised his speed to the limit as he swiftly dashed towards the deeper parts of the mysterious Black Yin mountain range. Chase after him, this sect leader wants to see where he can escape to today. 
Just as Little Flame's figure dashed forth, Tang Sha transformed into a blurry figure and dashed forth. Behind him, the elite ghastly puppet cult practitioners hastily followed. Sect leader, Tang Lei, when they saw Tang Sha, who was beside them, the left and right elders hurriedly said. He still has half a breath left. Previously, I avoided his vitals and let someone take care of him. Immediately chase after that kid. We must not let him escape with the treasure. Tang Sha glanced at Tang Lei, who was covered in blood, as he expressionlessly said. Yes. When they heard these words, the left and right elders hastily replied. Previously, Tang Sha's attack was extremely formidable. When it pierced through Tang Lei's body, as long as the power was slightly dispersed, Tang Lei would be the first to be killed. Therefore, whether he lived or died depended on his luck. Evidently, Tang Sha had placed Tang Lei's life entirely on this so-called luck. It could be said that he was vicious and merciless. After they responded, the left and right elders swiftly handed the unconscious Tang Lei to a ghastly puppet cult disciple. Then, they directly led the numerous elite ghastly puppet cult practitioners and followed Tang Sha, as they swept across the horizon and chased after the blood figure nearby. Go, follow them. Behind them, the eyes of Miu Lei, Wu Zong and the rest, who had been observing the situation, flashed as they led their men and swiftly followed. Previously, when Lin Dong and the ghastly puppet cult were fighting, they did not recklessly make a move. After all, regardless of whether it was Lin Dong or the ghastly puppet cult, both of them seemed to have some ability. Therefore, it was better to let them fight, and perhaps they might be able to take advantage of the situation. After all, everyone wanted to be the fisherman. Behind Mu Lei and the rest, outside ghastly puppet city, rushing wind noises instantly sounded out, as countless figures swept forth like locusts, before they dashed towards the depths of the mysterious Black Yin mountain range. These people's eyes were all burning with desire. The current situation was rather chaotic. Under the allure of such a treasure, even the advanced manifestation stage Tang Sha could not suppress everyone. Moreover, it was only under such a chaotic situation that they would have the possibility of obtaining that miraculous treasure and successfully taking advantage of the chaos to escape. As these locust-like figures charged in, the originally quiet mysterious Black Yin Mountain range turned completely chaotic at this moment. To be continued.